don't judge me and this is how i cope with sadness so it's a very expensive way but it's totally worth it okay so i have been in like the most horrible reading slump slash book hangover slash everything and i just did not want to read any of my tbr that i have like my physical tbr so i went shopping i did some damage but it was totally worth it because i am out of my reading slump slash book hangover and i have some really really amazing books to share with you i've read some of them already so this book haul was totally worth it okay so the first book that i want to talk to you guys about is the kiss quotient i just finished this book last night and Oh my gosh it was not what i expected it was so interesting and just so cute i loved it this is like gender reverse pretty woman type of vibe and i love it because i love pretty woman and this book is just chef's kiss i gave this book a five star because it was just super cute and honestly i kind of relate to the main character just a little bit because she's a very shy and quiet and inexperienced woman and i really do feel her on so many levels and all she does is work and make money and she just doesn't really have time for dating so i felt that on like so many levels but eventually she decided to change that and she hires an escort to teach her stuff because everyone just thinks she's so awkward and inexperienced but then she ends up asking the guy like the love interest to be her fake boyfriend so she can learn how to be in a relationship when the time is right because she's just so inexperienced like she's never had a real boyfriend I really thought this book was gonna be like super like hella spicy but it was more cute it's like a really quick book it's very fast paced very funny so go give this book a read if you're in a slump right now you will get over yourself okay, the next book that i got that i actually read immediately was the soulmate equation and i don't know why i haven't read this book like sooner because it is fake dating it's grumpy x sunshine it's like slightly enemies to lovers but it's like not really like it's like there but it's not really this is another five star read for me basically this book is about a guy who's starting like a new dating app but there's like dna samples and the blood samples all that stuff involved to make it like super legit basically it's an app that helps you find your soulmate and he's matched with the one girl he just have no interest in and so they're trying to kind of like figure out why because they're so different he really wants to promote his app and really wants it to be successful so his partners kind of proposed that they start dating and get to know each other and so they kind of end up doing it but it's like all fake like all fake dating involved she's not really looking to date and he kind of is but like he doesn't really want to date her this is actually my second single parent trope book the first one i read was reminders of him by colleen hoover and i had no idea that this would be like single parent trope but it was so cute i'm like really into single parent trope because there's just something about little kids like being described in a book and like all the cute things they say and they do and it just it's just so cute so if you're into that this is like the perfect book because the guy is just so good with her daughter and i loved it so much and this book is hilarious like it's so funny if you need a book to get out of your slump right now or if you have like no idea what to read right now and you're just stuck i honestly recommend this book i read this book in two days it was so good it was so funny i just highly recommend this book like this is another great book that i've read and if i finished it in two days you know that it's a really good book okay the next book that i'm super excited to read is mr wrong number which is another rom-com i really wanted to read this book because it sounds so interesting basically it's about this girl who received a very naughty text from an unknown number and the guy doesn't even know who he's texting and they kind of like kept the conversation going or like they don't know each other they don't know who they're texting but they just like found it very intriguing and they just like kept texting back and forth their texts are very spicy so i've heard and the guy ends up finding out that the girl that he's texting is his best friend's sister i just have a sense that she is off limits to him but I'm actually really excited to read this book because this seems very funny. So I'm actually excited to read this. Hopefully I can read this next. 
but we'll see. Okay, the next book that I got is from Lukov with Love. I have heard so many great things about this book, but the main reason why I bought this book is because it's Grumpy X Sunshine, but gender reverse. So the girl is the grumpy and the guy is the sunshine. I really hope that's true because I have been meaning to like find a book where the gender is reversed in that trope and I haven't found anything yet but I feel like this book is it for me. I don't know what this book is about honestly I just know that it's a very cute slow burn type of romance. I'm getting the feeling that it's friends to lovers but I'm not really sure yet but I feel like it's like an on and off relationship but I do love a good slow burn. I do love a good like cute little romance novel. This book will be perfect for me so I'm actually really excited to read this one. It seems very interesting. Judging from the cover, I think maybe the girl is a figure skater? But this is like very thick, so like how slow is this book going to be? I'm gonna have to read this when I literally have like nothing else to read. Okay, next book is One True Loves by Taylor Reed, who wrote The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I love that book and I feel like I will love this book too. But I heard this book was sad and depressing and I am just gonna like put this on the bottom of my shelf for now because I really don't feel like being sad and depressing right now. I love her work. She is such an amazing writer. That is the only book that I've read from her but I do want to read more books from her and I think this one just came out. I mean it's literally in plastic. What is this? I am very excited to read this book honestly. I know I'm probably gonna cry. I'm gonna be heartbroken. It's giving very Colleen Hoover vibes but this book is about a girl and a guy. They're like high school sweethearts. They get married and then the guy disappears on a plane crash. Finally finds someone that she can love again and so things are like serious with this new guy and then she finds out that her husband survived this plane crash and now he's back and now she's with this new guy i think she's engaged to this new guy but now her husband is back and so she kind of has to choose between the two of them that sounds like a lot of pain and i'm not i'm not ready i'm not ready for that Okay, the next book that I got is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This book has been on my For You page for weeks now. Love Emily Henry's book. Beach Read was not my favorite book by her, but People We Meet on Vacation was super cute and funny, and hopefully this book kind of gives me that vibe as well. I honestly don't know how to explain this book, but it's about a girl who moves to a small town and she runs into this guy. I guess they don't always see eye to eye, and... Oh, they're rivals. Oh, is this rivals to lovers? Because I am, I'm gonna read this like right now. <gasps> okay, so this is giving very enemies to lovers type of vibe. I'm into it. So this is basically like a very bookish book. So I think like every reader should like own this book, but I, I'm still having like trouble understanding what this book is about but like you had me at rivals this book has like so many five star reviews and so many like great tiktok reviews and i'm trusting that i'm just hoping it does not give me beach read vibes because i did not like beach read i'm sorry i have a feeling that this book is gonna be like hilarious and everyone is like super bookish so i think i'm really gonna enjoy this book but we will see. I will keep you updated. Next book I got is The Idiot. Now, I'm gonna be really honest here. I just saw the pink cover and I'm like instant buy. I know I shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I literally judged this book by its cover. Like, I really thought this was gonna be like a cute little summer vibe type of book, but it's not. I started reading this book. I got to page 40 and I'm bored, but I know it probably will get better. It, this is not usually what I would normally read, so that's why I'm not really enjoying it as much as I would like to. But so far, from my understanding of this book, it's about this girl. She goes to Harvard and she basically is trying to just like find herself and meet new people and um, just trying to figure out what she wants to do in life. So I'm getting slight romance from this book, but I haven't really gotten to the romance part of this book yet. Maybe I will finish this book over the summertime, but I'm not really sure yet how I feel about it. Apparently, it's very funny. There's 
adventures and romance in it so i'm gonna give it a shot but how cute is the cover though it's called the idiot and there's a rock i don't know what it symbolizes yet but um i really hope the girl's not an idiot because then that would be very disappointing i actually mentioned that i'm into poetry and i've been reading like quite a few poetry recently so i actually just found this really cute one it's called shine your icy crown this is actually a series there's three books by this author it's like fairy tale princess inspired type of poetry book and oh my gosh it is just so beautiful inside and i just love the color theme it's like pink and gray there's like cute little illustrations inside whenever i don't feel like reading much i'll just pick this up oh my gosh how cute it's so pretty it is just like so aesthetically pleasing and i actually do want to like get the whole series of it just to have it because it is just so beautiful the next book that i got and i honestly i can't remember when i got this book or why i got this book i think i got this book like a while ago and i just found it on my bookshelf it's called zodiac academy and i don't know why i have this book um i think this is a series i'm not sure if this is a fantasy it's a fantasy i just saw the word vampire and i'm like okay cool i don't know what it is i don't know what it's about i honestly can't remember why i even bought this book but if i'm into like a fantasy vampire vibe i guess i'll read it i think this is like a boarding school type of book no way if it's ya to be honest with you i don't i can't remember when i bought this book and why i guess it's about a girl finding out that she's fae and she has to go to a boarding school am i reading this right and so like everyone is just mean to her like there's like a lot of bullying and stuff happening i don't know it sounds interesting maybe that's why i got it but we'll see maybe she's like a princess or someone powerful and that's why they bully her but oh she's the daughter of the savage king huh well okay that's interesting I will keep you updated if I ever decide to read this book anytime soon. Okay, next book that I got is Love and Other Words and I love Christina Lauren. Christina and Lauren are two different people and I did not know that. Like, they're best friends. I love their books. They're amazing writers. I love their work because I loved The Soulmate Equation. I told you I finished that in like two days and I love The Honeymooners. That was hilarious. So I'm hoping this book gives me that same exact rom-com type of vibe. I'm not sure though because this book is like friends to lovers. It literally says a dramatic love story. I I don't know i feel like it's gonna be sad and a slow burn a lot of people say really great things about it and i've been wanting to get this for so long also the cover of this book is just everything it's like everything i love is just packed into this cover so it's kind of like a bookish type of vibe book i'm getting but i think it's like definitely friends to lovers and they probably have like their ups and downs and stuff like that and they come back to each other I'm like just guessing what this book is about but I have a feeling that it might not be like a cute little rom-com book I feel like there's gonna be a lot of like realistic relatable things happening here and you know what that's fine I trust Christina Lauren so I know I'm gonna love this book as much as I love her other two books remember how I said I wanted to read more Nicholas Sparks books I actually found this book in my trunk the other day when I was cleaning out my car and I have no idea where this book came from. This was probably from a bookstore trip I took back in the fall and I completely forgot about it. There was like a bunch of, like a stack of books in my trunk, like cooking books and like life books. And then there was this book just sitting there. I kind of like manifested a Nicholas Sparks book into my life and you know what? I'm not even gonna complain about it. I love this movie. I've seen this movie like a hundred times. They did such an amazing job with this movie and I know the book is gonna be like more in depth, more details about the actual story. And I am very, very excited to read this book, but I'm not gonna be reading this anytime soon because I know what this book is about already. We'll save this for like the end of the year. Okay, next book that I got is a Colleen Hoover book. Look how pretty this cover is. It's giving me like such a lively, summery type of vibe, but then when you really look at it, it's skulls. 
like around flowers and that's not a good sign here okay so this book is about two people who are complete opposite and they are spending the summer as neighbors i don't know what this book is about but i know it's gonna rip my heart out all of colleen hoover's covers have such intense meaning to them and i'm gonna save this book for last because i don't feel like being in pain right now i know i'm gonna love this book because there's not one book that i read from colleen hoover that i did not like i loved every single one this seems like a cute little like summer fling romance type of book we know a very heartbreaking plot twist is coming so yeah we'll save this book for last okay the next book that i got is the first book in the devil knight series this is corrupt and i started reading this last night actually i'm on page 96 already that's how addicting this book is but i do have a lot of concerns and i do have a lot of questions and i'm like i'm confused so this book so far is about a girl who put her boyfriend's brother's friends in prison while she was in high school so that was like three years ago and now it like switches from like three years ago to like present day and present day she's like on her own and these guys are out of prison and they're like after her for revenge but her boyfriend's brother is giving me mixed vibes like one moment he's like into her and then the next moment he wants to murder her first of all they call themselves the horsemen and that's just oh i don't even know i don't even want to know but like i don't like that <laughs> how am i supposed to like any of them when judging from like the things that they're doing in this book is like not okay like they all just seems like jerks and not the kind of like jerk jerk that you would like in a romance book just like straight up like jerks and they just don't give me like good vibes at all a lot of people don't like the first book and i totally get why but i have like 400 more pages to go to find out exactly what they did to her that she put them in prison and why they're after her for revenge like how bad was it she's kind of like drawn to her now ex-boyfriend's brother who's like older and they're living in the same apartment complex his family actually owns the complex so she's kind of living in like a penthouse and he's like keeping an eye on her but he's like drawn to her but like he wants revenge on her so that's like messed up in a way i'm not feeling it usually i would feel the enemies to lovers vibe but this is just giving me the ick so we'll see um this is just the first book out of oh it's just a six book series okay so that's not bad and i really thought this was going to be something like the off-campus book where they kind of talk about each friend and them finding a girl but this is more like revenge on this one girl. This is probably gonna take me like a while to finish because so far it's like giving me like icky vibes. I mean, look at the cover. It's not something that I would normally read. I'm hoping it gets better. I'm really hoping it gets better. People say to trust the second and the third book or whatever. The last book that I have is actually an arc I received from Entangled Teen and it's Stealing Infinity. And I've actually read books by Alison Noel when I was in high school and I loved her work. She writes very contemporary YA books. She wrote Cruel Summer, which I read last summer and that was actually a really cute YA book. But this is a YA fantasy book, which I've never read a fantasy book from her before. And I've been really wanting to read more fantasy books and this seems really, really interesting. It's like giving me boarding school vibes and i don't know if it's a romance romance might be a subplot but i'm not sure i'm actually like really excited to read this i was not expecting an arc really i'm excited to read this because it sounds so interesting it's not something that i would normally buy or pick up to read it's giving me like very inheritance games type of vibe i really hope it's like similar because i really like the inheritance games it was like one of my first mystery type of books and it was like really fast paced and i really liked it so hopefully this book kind of gives me that kind of vibes it's kind of giving slight enemies to lovers i think i might enjoy this because i do love a good like mystery and puzzle and stuff like that because the inheritance game was really really good so 
we will see so that's all the books that i bought so far um and then i found some i'm actually really excited to read like most of them but the other ones like the zodiac academy one that's gonna like wait for a little while also the colleen hoover book i'll probably read like at the end of the year yeah that's pretty much it and i am gonna probably keep you updated on my instagram because i usually like do like reading updates and like my ratings of my books also i do use goodreads so if you want to follow me on there to like kind of keep track of like the books that i also am reading um the link will be down below and yeah that's pretty much it don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on instagram for book updates and i'll see you guys next time